हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज कोच वीर अगैन विद न्यू प्रॉब्लम ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल कोच वीर एंड इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू मैनिपुलेट द वेरिएबल्स एंड प्राइम्स सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स पी ए एंड बी सेटिस्फाई दिस इक्वेशन पी स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर इज गोल टू बी स्क्वायर लुकिंग लाइक द पाइथागोरस थियोरम टू यू दैट माइट बी करेक्ट prove that if p is a prime greater than 3 okay then a is a multiple of 12 and another thing which you need to prove is 2 times p plus a plus 1 is a perfect square quite a big problem but how to solve this you cannot solve it with the like taking values like one of uh, value you might suggest here is like 5 uh, square which is a prime greater than 3 for the p and then you will say like 12 square is equals to 13 square that is one of the number which satisfy this but that's not a proving part when you are proving something you need to make it generalized for all the things okay so let's start the solution then so solution here is very mm, clean like you have this p square equals plus a square equals b square what i suggest you is p is a prime utilize this prime thing so how to utilize this let's keep it one side and bring the a square this side now you know this formula a square minus b square or b square minus a square is working here so we can write it as b minus a or b plus a times b minus a anyways you can write it now what it gives that p is a prime and it is its square is a multiplication of two things so here you need to consider that this both you might be thinking that it is equals to p times p so p is equals to this and p is equals to this but that is wrong you cannot do this why because adding two numbers and subtracting cannot be equal correct like b plus a and b minus a both cannot be equal to p that is wrong correct so what are the other things which we can do so factors of p square are 1 p and p square so which one is better for me 1 and p square so what i will suggest you here is think like this p square times 1 is equals to b plus a and b minus a yes that is working so this thing and this thing if you want to take insight of it like is this really happening so you can do this part that the example part so what is prime here 5 so 5 square is 25 Times one is equals to b is thirteen, a is twelve. Thirteen plus twelve and thirteen minus twelve. Correct. So it is working. Like you, you understand this thing. Now, this is what we have done. Now we know that p square is actually equals to b plus a, and one is actually equals to b minus a. This is for sure. Correct. This is for sure. now we will utilize this to find b and a in terms of p so if we add the equations what we are going to get 2b equals to p square plus 1 so b is actually equals to p square plus 1 divided by 2 what about a if we subtract the equation so what we are going to get p square minus 1 and this side b get cancelled a will add up 2a so what we are going to get here is a equals to p square minus 1 upon 2 hope that is clear to you these two values of a and b now the point here is we what we need to prove we need to prove that p is prime greater than 3 then a is a multiple of 12 correct so A is a multiple of twelve. How I will prove that? See, 
इफ आई राइट टू ए इज इक्वल टू पी स्क्वायर माइनस वन यू नो दैट ए टू ए कैन बी डिवाइडेड विथ टू दैट फॉर श्योर एंड पी स्क्वायर p is a prime number so obviously p is a odd because only prime number which is even is 2 and we are talking about more than 3 correct they had given in the question you can check it here p is a prime greater than 3 p is greater than 3 so p is odd obviously and square of this is odd and p square plus 1 is even For sure, correct or minus one. Let's take it minus one as the question suggests, or plus one also. Both both are even. So now, if this part is even, then what? We can manipulate this. How? Same method. P plus one and P minus one because we need more twos. and you know that p plus 1 and p minus 1 both even so we get that this is also a 2n part and this is also a 2m part so and obviously this 2a divides 2a is actually equals to this so 2a divides 4 a multiple of 4 okay that's for uh, sure now if it is a multiple of 4 then how we will talk about the multiple of 12 we need to talk about the multiple of 12 correct a is a multiple of 12 so here you need to understand so as you know p plus 1 and p minus 1 both are even and as they are even and they have a gap so one of p plus 1 and or you can say or uh, p minus 1 is a multiple of 4 correct so totally 2a is a multiple of 8 now we need 2a uh, means a to be a multiple of 12 correct so we need a multiple of 3 also so you need to understand here that p does not divide 3 okay p you cannot divide it by 3 because it is a prime number otherwise it is not a prime number so the point here is if p is not divisible by 3 then surely p plus 1 or p minus 1 is divisible by one of them is divisible by is divisible by 3 so obviously 2a is divisible by 24 and a is divisible by 12 that's proved correct now the next part hope you got it if not let me explain you again see p plus 1 is prime plus 1 and prime minus 1 prime is a odd number so one step back one step forward is both even and one of them is a multiple of 4 because there is a gap of 2 correct and now as p is a prime number so obviously it is not divisible by 3 so one of the add up or add down or subtract down is divisible by 3 correct as you go in the table of 3 like let me take the example of uh, 5 Five plus one is six, so obviously it is divisible by three. Or five minus one, four, so it is a multiple of four. Correct. Like that, you can interrelate things. Now, next thing, this thing two. This we need to prove that it is a perfect square. Two times p plus a plus one. So see here, two times p. Plus a plus one. We need to prove that it is a prime, uh, not prime. It is a perfect square. So how to prove that? So you know that a in terms of p is from the last. You can rewind the video. P square minus one by 
2 plus 1. It is the value of A in terms of P. Now simplify this. Multiply 2 with everybody. So 2P plus P square minus 1 plus 2. So what we are going to get P square plus 2P. I am just arranging it. Huh? 1 minus 1 and plus 2 is just plus 1. So you know that formula is playing here which is P plus 1 whole square. Hope you got it and you know that it is a perfect square. So we have proved this very easily by just substituting the value of A. Hope you got it. If any doubt just put it in the comment and like this video share it to all of your friends. Hope you got it. If any doubt just comment. But before that if you have not subscribed this channel subscribe it now to watch this full solution and press the bell icon. Don't forget to like this video if you really like this dislike is your choice i leave it to my viewers and don't forget to the comment section this is important for me friends i want to know your views on my channel and the question solution parts you understand it or how is it helpful for you hope you have done the commenting and the liking part if not please like the video thank you friends see you in my next video till then bye bye